Hey guys, it's Roland at Getting It Done North of Seven. Today I'm going to show you how to winterize your boat motor for the winter. And a lot of people will make a big deal out of it and they think it's hard and they'll pay someone to do it for them, but you don't need to. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so your main focus is, is just to run the fuel through your system and run it dry so that there's no fuel in the lines or in your injectors or carburetors, whatever you have you whatever you have. So what you, what I did was I just, I could have did this at home, hooked up the uh, ears, they call it, ears to the motor and attached to your water hose at home. But if you're like me, you've been boating right late in the season and it's getting into the freezing temperatures. I turned the water off at home and put all my hoses away. So all I have to do is come here to the river or the lake any nearby boat launch it's not busy this time of year and I back the boat into the water and I just unplugged my fuel line to the engine start it up and it's getting water to keep the engine cool and it's gonna run dry it's going to take a while for this is a 40 horsepower four-stroke it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to run dry that's all you need to do you don't have to change the oil in the lower unit you can do that in the spring. I may do it now, or I may do it in the spring. Depends whatever I have time for. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, there's no point in, you know I mean? You don't have to spend a lot of money to pay someone to do this for you when you can do this yourself. It's very easy. And like I say, if your water isn't turned off at home, you can just do this at home with a pair of those rabbit ears you can pick up at a store for probably $10 or less. Hook it up to your water hose turn the water on and then start your engine and that's all you need to do to to uh, store your boat motor for the for the winter I guarantee that this will start in the spring when I want it to it always does you don't have you don't even have to fog your engine okay there we go it took about 15 minutes the motor ran dry of fuel now I'll just go put it in the garage for the winter and that'll be it if I decide to change the oil on the lower unit I will so after this I took my boat home and I took the fuel tank out of the boat and I drained most of the fuel into my ATV and some into a gas can because it was good premium fuel and I don't want to leave it sitting in that tank. And there was a bit, a bit of a splash of gas in the bottom of the tank so I threw in some fuel stabilizer and that should hold it off for the winter. It should be just fine. So again, it's been rolling from getting it done north of seven. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care. Bye now. Thank you again, and don't forget to subscribe.